Hey there, so uh, today I'm going to make a video and I'm going to test out Windows 11. Yeah, uh, we're going to test out Windows 11 with, um, how li how, with how little RAM you can run it. So if you want to know how to uh, create a, vir a virtual machine so you can use it in your own PC, you can check out my video. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. And as for Windows 11, I got it from <clears throat> good old internet, yeah, and uh, yeah, so we'll we'll get on with this uh, experiment. So here we have uh, Windows 11, as you can see, everything works fine. Here's a new startup. Uh, <clears throat> oh, actually, you need to go here for Task Manager. They've changed a few things. Um, as you can see, uh, it's running on 8 gigs. Everything works fine. There I'm going motherboard. And there we have 4 gigs. Now let's go. Now let's check it out on Task Manager. Performance, yeah. So it looks good. 4 gigs apparently is enough to run even uh, Windows 11. There it is, 3 gigs of RAM. Let's try it out. Let's go to Task Manager. Whoa, so it, it's actually working. <laughs> Damn, I didn't expect that. Um, but also, it's. Uh, it's all clean, there's no programs to run in the background, in RAM or anything, it's uh, it's, f it's fresh out of oven, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but yeah, apparently it works with 2 gigs, who knew? So it's, it's working, so let's try it out with 1.5 gigs. 1.5 gigs, here we go. Well, uh, so it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Uh, it didn't start up. I'll try again, but I don't think uh, it'll work. Oh, wait. What? Damn. It started up. Windows 11 on 1.5 gigs of RAM, baby. Whoa, <laughs> it's it's actually working. Damn, 400 megabytes available. What what is it doing? Let's try running a a quick scan. So that looks whoa, 1.5 gigs of RAM, Windows 11. Oh, 100 megabytes. We're closing in. So yeah, apparently you can run Windows 11, 11 with 1.5 gigs of RAM. That's a new one. Well, hell, let's try one gig. One gig of RAM. There's no way it'll work. No freaking way. Performance. What? What's going on here, man? One gig of RAM. One gig of RAM. Windows 11. 500 megabytes. I think that's the last one. I think uh, we're stopping in here, guys. <laughs> that's just outrageous oh my god how how is even starting up with 400 megabytes 500 megabytes like what i'm surprised i'm really surprised there you have it 500 megabytes of ram damn Yep, it it's actually working. <laughs> well, health. 200 megabytes of RAM. What? 
What? Two thousand years later. Oh my god, it's taking like an eternity just to load up. But it's actually running. It's actually running. It's running slow as a turtle, but it's running. That's some top class 10 out of 10 RAM efficiency right there. Damn. Windows 11 running with 256 megabytes of RAM. Kind of running. It's still, it still hasn't loaded up like for five minutes. Much, much, much later. It's probably using like 255.9 megabytes of RAM. Well, yeah, there you have it. Uh, it's just uh, the start menu just doesn't want to show up. There you have it, 256 megabytes of RAM, Windows 11. That's it. You can run it if you don't have 50 cents to buy another 200 megabytes of RAM. With 500 megabytes of RAM, it ran quite good actually. So, yeah, 50 cents sounds like a good investment for 200 megabytes of RAM. And yeah, the, wait, wait, what? I'm not gonna keep it in real time just for you to know because it, it's probably gonna make this video like one hour long. I'm gonna speed it up probably 100. 500 percent a thousand maybe <laughs> it's just taking forever man just to go to the test manager and it and it's not even popping up yeah there you have it windows 11 running with 200 megabytes of ram thanks for watching i hope uh, this video entertained you just a little bit it was a, quite a fun experiment to try out with the new windows 11 and uh, if you liked it drop drop a like subscribe and uh, see you in the next one